created well uh, this is not a video to teach the encryption and decryption but I'll just show you a little bit about the cryptography and how uh, the programs I have created work on this cryptography well so first I'll open the notepad alright so first let's uh, have a brief introduction of cryptography so cryptography is uh, used to encrypt the messages the secret messages uh, suppose you have a friend and you want to uh, tell him your computer password alright your, e your email account password and you have a group of people standing over there and uh, you don't uh, of course you won't wish to disclose your password in front of all so what you can do is you can uh, give him the encrypted password to your friend in this way uh, the people in the room even after hearing the password cannot make it out all right so let's suppose the message or you can say the password is suppose zodiac sorry zodiac and uh, you need a key for an encryption so first we're discussing about uh, substitution cipher so suppose the key uh, which you are keeping is uh, one what do you mean by key equals to one which means that each letter of the of the message will be shifted to one position so, all right so z plus one will become a o plus one will become p d plus one will become e i plus one will become j and so on and so forth so now the encrypted message will be z plus one will become a sorry o plus one will become p d plus one e i will become j a will become b c will become t all right so now this a p e j b t this is your encrypted message so in the room now if you call out your password loud then to the people won't be able to make it out well it seems to but actually this substitution cipher is quite traditional and there are very easy methods to break this cipher all the user has to do is make uh, 26 assumptions uh, towards the left or towards the right and easily the attacker can get the original message from this encrypted message all right so so Viginator gave a solution to this what uh, Viginator told is that the key should consist of more than one digits and each digit of the key should be added to every character of the message now what does this mean well suppose our key is one two three you can keep any key uh, but this is just for the sake of simplicity we are keeping one two three so now z plus one will become a o plus one will become p q all right uh, d plus three d e f g so d plus three will become g then I plus 1 will become J, A plus 2 will become C, C plus 3, D, E, F. Alright, so now uh, encrypted message will be Z plus 1 will become A, O, P, Q, D, G, I, J, A, C, F. Alright, so now this is our encrypted message well this does sound a little bit secure but uh, for the maximum security the key should be as long as the possible here it is not but uh, one thing to keep in mind is that here it's not possible to increase the length of the key than the number of characters of the message so if the message is long enough and the key is as long as the number of characters in the message then this cipher is quite a bit secure all right or else if the key is uh, if the digits of the key are less than the number of characters then the key will be repeated just just the way the key is repeated over here all right so this was the idea of uh, Vigina so but uh, what i thought was that here we are just confined to 26 numbers like you see z plus 1 will again become a so all we can do is uh, we are just confined within 26 numbers so i thought why not uh, 
increase the range why not go beyond 26 so what I thought was I uh, thought of the ASCII table now what is ASCII table well this is the ASCII table and uh, ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange well every character you enter from the keyboard has an ASCII value on, and it is by this ASCII value the computer recognizes that character like space has ASCII value 32 exclamation has 33 uppercase A has 65 uppercase Z has 90 lowercase A has 97 lowercase Z has 122 this curly bracket has 123 so on and so forth every character from a keyboard has an ASCII value so what I thought was that uh, why not uh, have the range from 0 to 127 now what do I mean by that well yes Z plus 1 becomes again A okay this Z plus 1 will again become A but by using the ASCII table the encryption from this ASCII table Z plus 1 will become this curly bracket Z plus 3 will become this curly bracket and so we can go up to Z plus 127 oh sorry Z plus 127 which will go to 249 all right so 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 capital a plus 3 will become capital c small a plus 4 will become small d okay so it will go on and after z it won't go back to a but it will go further further and further up to 249 so on this principle or on this concept I decided to build a program an encryption and decryption program in C so I would like to demonstrate that program to you well let's open it so this is my encryption program well here you have to enter the message which you want to encrypt and the maximum limit is one lakh characters I think this limit hardly will be reached by someone but this is just uh, I kept it forget right so suppose now our message it's okay fine zero d i a c zodiac all right as soon as you press enter the computer will know that you have completed entering the message so new line is the delimiter all right message saved now this is a key line section here you have to define the number of key no problem so the message was zero d i a c and the key was one two three all right so here the length of key is one this is two and this is three okay so there are three digits so this length you have to define over here so here what is selling is the key and should not be greater than the length of the message or be less than zero which is self-explanatory and decimal points will be ignored you, you cannot keep the length 1.5 2.3 etc etc and the currently the length of your message is six characters including spaces well one two three four five six suppose if there was a sentence zodiac space leo so the so the length of the message would be zodiac is six leo is three so six plus three seven eight nine and plus one space between zodiac and leo which will be considered as ten all right you can try it yourself well so here let's skip the uh, all right here the length is three so enter the first digit well we had entered one over here all right so one this will become two and three it's up to you what digit you want to keep okay so you, uh, you can keep any number between 0 to 127 but if you'll keep the number zero the character will remain as it is here again the decimal points will be ignored and uh, please don't enter any digit greater than 127 due, due to ASCII table compatibility issues well this is because you know this board are four points so while the de decryption it creates a bit of problem so the range kept is between 0 to 127 all right and any special uh, character will be considered as zero 
so if you're uh, inputting any characters like this or any alphabets like a b will be considered as zero right so we are just uh, keeping the digits so one two and three all right enter so message encryption section and this is our encrypted text as you can see z plus one so according to this ASCII table this is C Z plus 1 is this curly bracket you can see over here curly bracket then O O plus 2 O plus 2 all right this O plus 2 will become 1 2 Q Q you see this D D plus 3 will become G I I plus 1 you, you now you see the key is repeating we, we just said three digits one two and three so one two and three three for d then again one two three the digits are repeating okay, all right so this is the way so let's now uh, create another en encryption message well so do you wish to encrypt another message well why which means yes all right so again with zodiac space leo all right so enter now you see this currently the length of your message is 10 characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right including spaces all right so ideally the length of the me message should be 10 characters long so now we are going according to the ideal method so now 10 enter all right now let's enter 10 digits of the key well first i'll enter a just to show you that it will be considered as zero then i'll be entering 1.2 just to show you that this point two will be eliminated and just one will be taken into account then three will be well one two three you can uh, you can just as i said before you can enter any number between zero to 127 it's your choice but this is just for the sake of simplicity for five six seven eight all right so this we have entered the ten digits and this is our encrypted text whoa now you can send now you can send your encrypted message to your friend all right and and if any third person gets this encrypted text if this encrypted text come into handy of any third person the third person won't be able to make it out that you are conveying this message zodiac leo to a person now how to send this message to someone by email or something all right so the simple method is right click edit mark just go down you can see this cursor over here this gray it started from here all right so just go down uh, here now press shift and then right arrow key to select it well again go back to the bar edit copy all right now just to show you that this program is uh, that the encryption and decryption program both one both work hand in hand just to show you now let's do one thing from this encrypted text why not go back to original text which means that suppose if you are sending this encrypted text to your friend and if he or she wants again the original message so now what you can do is you can send this by email we, we, we have just copied it we can paste it all right so now just to show you the decryption program i'll be opening decryption well now this is the decryption program and warning this program can only decrypt message encrypted by arlen's free encryption program because the algorithm used for encryption will be used for decryption so any other algorithm used won't be decrypted in this decryption program all right so now you have sent this message to your friend and now your friend has this decryption program so using this decryption program and the key your friend will get back the original text well so now you now suppose your friend has received the text via email 
so all you can do is select everything then control C for copy alright your friend can go over here edit and paste so now the encryption text is over here then press enter now please enter the length of the key which was used for encrypting the message well here the length of the key was 10 characters you see we had entered 10 characters I mean 10 digits and these are the 10 digits of the keys so here we'll be entering 1010 all right now key initialization section well entered digit number one of the key well digit number one was a oh yes I want to show you that if any character is inserted it is considered as zero you see our message is zodiac Leo so first digit is a so a will be considered as zero so z plus zero will become z so it's z you can see over here it is z it has not been encrypted well now digit number 2 is 1.2 but it, but this will be considered as 1 only so now this O O will be shifted by 1 so O plus 1 will become P you can say this it's P alright then digit number 3 1 2 3 so that way all the characters over here they will be shifted all right you can check it out yourself huh so here we have to enter the all the digits of the keys which were used for encryption well so digit number one was a right so enter a digit number two was 1.2 then it continues from 1 to 8 so 1.2 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whoa, bingo. We have the original message over here. Zodiac Leo. You see this? This is the message decryption section. Your original message is Zodiac Leo. And you can see it over here that our original message was Zodiac Leo. All right. So this is the decryption program. And, the, and these programs are totally free. You can circuit it anywhere. Well, do you wish to decrypt another message? No. All right. Thank, thank you for using Arlen's free message decryption program. Your feedback and suggestions are always welcome on my email. My email is arlenbethalad.com. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any queries, any suggestions, any feedback, they're always welcome. Thank you for watching.